What's up? <laughs> it's your boy Pop from Hobo Skateboard Shop having a hell of a day here. And this, my friends, is a penny cruiser. All right. And not just any penny cruiser. This is called the nickel. Um, the because the it is actually bigger than the original penny cruiser. Um, I cannot remember 100% the dimensions. Yeah, but um, I think this this one is like 27 inch, and the actual original penny cruiser is a lot smaller. It's like 27 inches. So, um, and but it still has everything that the normal penny cruiser has it is made out of the same material um the the logo is you know different this one has penny stretched out the original penny cruiser has the penny logo in the circle um it looks more like this i don't know if you can see that from this little tag all right anyway but it ha still has everything else the original penny trucks the original Penny Cruiser wheels, um, it, they come with ABEX 7 bearings in them from Penny, of course, and the bushings. I'm pretty sure they're Penny. They, it's not like they're branded or anything, but pretty sure Penny take care of that too. So, the point of this video here is I'm going to show you how to basically hack your Penny Cruiser. Um, when it comes in normally when people buy them they they come fully complete like this you can buy them you know just go to your local skateboard shop if you you know need to replace the wheels the bearings or even the um, penny cruiser deck um, I me myself personally think it's actually cheaper just to buy a whole nother penny cruiser but oh well but that's besides the point here um, but when they come complete like this it and this is technically with just just about any um, complete setup that you get. They all the stock stuff that they come in it. To and my maybe that's just a me thing, but I feel like they don't function at the best quality or the highest performance or whatever you want to say or whatever. Not to say that the quality is bad or anything. Because some sometimes the companies don't specialize. Like if you get a real skateboard complete with with it all with completely set up, um, real don't really specialize in bearings. So, I mean, the bearings that you probably get are going to be, oh, uh, you know, not different. But that's beside. Here we go. This is this is what I'm saying. The wheels, although they still move smooth and they are ABEX 7 bearings and stuff like, you know, everything of that nature, um, I still feel like they don't really roll 100% to the full com um, ability of the ABEX rating of these this bearing. But I have a reason, a theory of I feel like why not. Hence the reason why I brought a skate tool today because if you you know we all know that if you loosen or tighten the um, little nut on the wheels here the bolt on the wheels you will you can make your wheels turn a little slower because they're pressed up against the bearing wheel. Or if you loosen them a bit more, where it gives a little bit more give, not this much, but just a little, um, they will roll a lot smoother. But um, I still feel like they don't roll at its full capacity here. So what I do, what I've noticed is that if you, and most skateboard completes come like this, but not all. Um, if you just take out one of the um, one side of the bearings all right and inside of it there is a little thing called a washer a spacer that um, separate that keeps the bearings um, separated from each other now I don't know how it was back in the day 
Um, but from every everything that I know of, uh, from what I've seen from skateboard wheels or something like that, truthfully, you really don't need this thing, a spacer. Longboarders use them a lot, but pretty much in every wheel, I don't know if you guys can see that, there is always a um, bushing, not bushing, a barren seat in it. So it pretty much already, once you push it in, you can not you can only push it in so far anyway. So when you do that, um, there you go. You, you, I mean, you don't really need the barren spacer for the most part. Now, for whatever reason people put barren spacers in there, I heard a lot of different reasons why, but from what from my understanding is to me it basically slows down the wheel. Um, I heard it it stops the friction. I heard whatever, and all these things like the even with the washer that comes with the um with it completely. I feel like all these things actually slows down the wheel from actually spinning you know a bit faster. So I mean. The heck is, if you take all those things out, put your bearings back into it, pop it right back on there, and it spins a lot smoother and faster. I mean, you can notice the difference. You see how this one stopped a lot quicker than this one did? So, I can turn, I turned this like twice before it. this one actually stopped. Now, <laughs> with that being said, and that's just that's just pretty much it, the simple hack of it. All right. If you want if you want your wheels to run a little smoother or you know, rotate a little better, just take off the washers and take out the barren spacer if it comes with one. All right. But I'm going to put this back in because some people don't like it like this, and this is not my actual cruiser. <laughs> you know, I. <laughs> so, you put those back in. Oh, and by the way, all Barons don't have this little feature to it either, but it does in the back of it have like a little opening. So, if the Barons get a little dirty or whatever, you can just go ahead and lube them back up with not WD 40. But Teflon lube or Baron lube, speed cream, some people call it. And you you're back in business. Alright, so I feel like depending especially when it comes to a cruiser, you kinda want that longboarding um smooth ride anyway. And it, it's not really meant for hauling ass. It's not like you're supposed to be bombing hills with these things. Although you can. You can do everything you want to on this board that you can do with any other board. Alright? It just may be a little difficult or whatever. But, yeah. Um, so, this is actually a gift for somebody. And the person is pretty much a, pretty much a beginner um, skater. But she just wanted to, you know, wanted a board where she can just cruise around and she just wanted a cruiser. Um, although you can make any board into, you can turn any board into a cruiser. I don't think you need just the wheels and depends on how, you know, big your, your board is or whatever. You can just use riser pads if the, um, depending on how big you want your, big and soft you want your wheels. But yeah, this person just actually just wanted a cruiser just to, just to get a little pushy push on and get a cruise on. And ain't nothing wrong with that. So, I put everything back like it's supposed to be. Um, and there you go. It You can you notice the difference immediately. I hope you guys do. Or seeing it that way. But that's basically it. Um, and because the reason I did that and usually don't suggest unless you want to. To people that want to do that hack on their cruiser or any other setup they have it's because one it's because the cruiser although you can you can foot brake or you can um tail brake on it you know when it when it comes to stopping if you're moving too fast or you want to slow down or whatever but eh, you don't really need to so 
Um, yeah, that's it. If tail breaking just basically does anything else with any other boy, it just gives you a bullet razor head. And because this thing is made out of plastic, I can't remember the type of plastic. I don't, I don't think it's just like just any old plastic. I can't remember what they call it. Um, because the wheels are made out of it. Is it your thing? Is it? I can't remember. I'm sorry, guys. But yeah. Um, and you can put grip tape on it, although it does come with, you know, a little um, grip friction pattern engraved, you know, embedded into the um, form and shape of the board. If you want more grip on it, you can actually put grip tape on it. They actually make penny shaped, penny board shaped grip for for penny boards. So that was just that that was it. That um, that's all I wanted to say. If this was just a little hack to make your penny board roll, I guess a bit faster and smoother. And that's all I wanted to say about that, guys. <laughs> your boy Pop from Hobo Skateboard Shop with your skateboard fix and tip, you know, from a while, all right? Last time, I can't remember last time I gave you guys a good skateboard tipping, tip, tip, tippity, tip, tip, tip. I'm rambling on, and I'm about to go on, and I wish this was my penny cruiser because this place is beautiful, and it is a beautiful day, and it is you know, design, if you ask me for using a cruiser board around, if you just want to push and roll around. But it's not mine, so away it goes and the back it goes. So with that being said, thank you for subscribing, commenting, and liking, and for telling a friend to tell a friend. That keeps the channel going and growing, all right? And if you're new here, thank you for um, clicking on and watching us. And please hit the subscribe button. And when you click on the subscribe button, make sure you click that little notification bell beside the subscribe button. All right. That will inform you when I post another video about stuff and more tips. And I'm up out, y'all. Two fingers.